Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm not a web designer by any means, but when I wanted to start a website for my small business, it was either pay hundreds of dollars for someone to do it for me or learn how to make my own really quick. So naturally, I chose the DIY route. So after looking at a few options, I found the platform Hostinger. So after using them for my site, I thought I'd make an honest review video. So if you're in the same boat as I was, you'd get an idea if Hostinger is a good fit for you. So throughout the rest of the video, we'll talk about their features, cost, and I'll get into some of the pros and cons of using Hostinger too. That said, let's get into it. What is Hostinger? So, Hostinger is a web hosting company that's been around since 2004, and they primarily provide web hosting services. They recently branched out into web development as well in 2019. Since then, they now offer the tools to easily build drag and drop websites, and then host those websites on their servers, acting as a one-stop shop for both web hosting and web development. And in early 2023, they launched an AI-powered web development tool, which gives AI the task of building a website for you. Now, signing up is as simple as entering your details and paying for your plan. From there, you'll head to the tools dashboard, where you can get started on building up your website or moving your existing website onto the platform. And if you're nervous to sign up for one of their paid plans or you're new to web development and hosting, there is a 30-day free trial. So you can play around with the features and to make sure this option is the route you want to go before paying a cent. Now, in terms of plans, there are a lot of options, so let's get into that next. Okay, so when it comes to their plans, there are three different ones to choose from. All of them include WordPress integrations or tools to build your own site with 150 pre-made templates to help you get started. On a technical note, your site has a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and Cloudflare protections. Now, the first plan they offer is called the premium plan. This plan runs a little under $3 a month. With it, you have the ability to host up to 25 websites along with 25 gigs of storage, plus unlimited bandwidth, email marketing, starter WooCommerce, if you plan to use your site to sell minimal physical products, and a free domain name that you can use to host your site, as well as weekly backups. So next is the business plan. This option comes in for under $4 a month. Now this plan, it gives your site a bit faster performance, an AI website agent, daily backups of your site, and more selling options. And finally, they have the cloud startup plan, which is their most inclusive plan, and will set you back around $8 a month. With it, you can build and host up to 100 websites, faster performance speeds, and 24-7 priority support. Now, full disclosure, these rates are good for a 48-month term. Once time is up, prices go up to between $11 and $26 a month. But if you're looking for some extra savings, we have a unique discount code that will give you an extra 10% discount. Simply use the coupon code SITESTARTERS at checkout for additional savings on any plan you choose. Now, I've also checked out their VPS or virtual private server services, which can help improve your performance and reliability. So their VPS plans start at around $5 and go up to $20 a month for their highest performing features, like 32 gigs of RAM and 400 gigs of storage space. Okay, so now that we've talked about their plans, features, and cost, let's talk about some of the things that maybe aren't so great. So when I'm choosing anything, I wanna make sure I get the whole picture, the good and the bad. And while I think their design features are really good, they are more basic. Because of this, I wouldn't really recommend using the AI web builder too much because from what I've noticed, it creates really generic content that doesn't make your site look super unique. Now, this might not be an issue for you, but personally, 
If I have a vision in my mind, then I want my content to be as personalized as possible. Now, of course, bear in mind that more complicated programs aren't always better. More design options can mean more confusion, especially if you're new to web design. Sometimes simpler can be better for some. Now, this wasn't an issue I ran into personally, but for anyone who's looking to create a site that handles a lot of data, like large-scale video transfers or even hosting games, might run into problems with Hostinger as their server space isn't as large as other platforms. And once you max out your gigs, they don't let you buy additional space. So you're kind of limited to about 400 gigs max on the top VPS plan. And yes, that may seem like a lot, but that space can get filled up fast with large files. So if you know that you'll need a ton of space, I might recommend shopping around. But if you don't plan to have a lot of media filling up your website, for most websites, even 50 gigs, which comes with their lowest tier plan, is more than enough. So now that we've talked about the bad, what about some of the things I liked about Hostinger? and if I'd still recommend them or not. Now, one thing that drew me to Hostinger was of course the affordable cost, along with the fact that they actually include quite a lot of really high quality features, even on their most basic plan. I'd say that they're a great option for people who are just starting their website or who don't need a lot of space to run their site. And, are ultimately looking for a reasonably priced solution. First, there's the matter of website speed. Now, all the sites that I host are really responsive with really quick loading times, and I haven't had a single crash yet. However, this also depends on how you structure your site. Now, I can say from personal experience that most people don't like waiting a long time for a website to load. For that reason, I'd recommend using simpler elements that take less time to load on the main page. The SEO tool is really helpful and has definitely allowed me to improve my sites well enough to recommend Hostinger, even just for that. Now, I personally haven't had a need to use the VPS service, but a friend of mine added a VPS to their site and it ended up working really well for them. So far, their site has stayed secure and hasn't gone down once. So if you deal with sensitive information, then I'd recommend you check out the VPS too. So finally, the million dollar question, would I recommend Hostinger? To put it simply, Yes. While, yes, they do have their shortcomings, I will say they are by far the most straightforward and easy to use website hosting service that I've used. Not to mention the most affordable, especially if you're on a budget. I also really like that their plans are really inclusive. Even their low tier plan gives you a lot of value for the cost, which is not something you see too often from other platforms. Their servers have been super reliable in my experience and their web development tools are really simple to use, which means you don't need to be a pro to build your own site. And to be honest, I can't imagine managing a website the old fashioned way with only WordPress and having to log on to each one to tweak something or update it, especially since a service like this can save so much time. So whether you plan on having a bunch of different sites or just one, I would definitely consider Hostinger. And that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you found this video useful and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more honest reviews like this one. And just as a reminder, if you do want to check out Hostinger with a bit of a discount, be sure to use the coupon code SITESTARTERS at checkout for an extra 10% off any plan, a discount that isn't available if you go straight to the site. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. Now I know there was a lot in this one, so if you still have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.